Welcome back to another Your Tech Report video, and today, I couldn't help myself. I just, I, I had to get my hands on one. The Xbox One Sea of Thieves controller. Now, if you're a subscriber or are just familiar with our channel, you probably know by now that I might have a little problem when it comes to buying Xbox controllers. I mean, it's, it's not a problem problem. I could stop buying them anytime I want. What? But this one is really something special. Now, if you don't know, Sea of Thieves is coming out, I believe, March 20th, so the release of the game is only a few weeks away. And Sea of Thieves is being put out, well, technically by Microsoft, because they own Rare, but it's Rare's newest game, and it's kind of an MMORPG set in the pirate world. So you and your friends can be pirates together, sailing the high seas, looking for treasure, fighting other pirates, doing a lot of sea combat, fighting against other pirate ships with your cannons, and looking out from the, from the crow's net. I mean, it looks really, really cool. I don't know how many of you actually got a chance to play uh, the closed beta, but it was a lot of fun, and although it wasn't perfect, it had a lot of promise, so I'm looking forward to what I think the game can deliver. Now, even though the game is only a few weeks away, they did release the controller uh, weeks in advance of the game, so it was a perfect opportunity for me to share this with you. Now, the folks at Microsoft are supposedly sending me one, and if they do send me one when the game comes out, I'll just give that away to one of you. So as soon as it you know gets in hand, I'll let you guys know about it, and we'll set up some kind of a giveaway. And what makes this even more exciting is this controller actually comes with DLC. So when the game comes out, you can download the exclusive Ferryman clothing set. And, and by the way, do not pay him. I mean, not until he gets you to the other side. Yeah, there are about 12 people my age laughing at that right now. I actually picked this up at the Microsoft Store, but I believe you can get them online as well. I know they have them on Amazon, although I think the price might have been a little higher. And, oh, so pretty. You know I love this part. And you could even, just before I open the box, you could see the artwork on the box really nicely done. You could see they do the ocean and the purple clouds with the, with the skull in the background. I mean, it just looks really cool. The packaging is really, really nice. Great job by Microsoft sort of building the excitement for what's inside by making the box look so nice. Then when you open it up, arr, sorry, I, I had to. Look at this controller. Look at that guy, will you? It is beautiful. It is so cool looking. And that's one of the reasons I was I was excited about this. I've gotten other themed controllers from the for the Xbox before. Uh, Gears of War, some other stuff for Halo. But um, this one just looks spectacular. It's got that, it's got that deep purple, and it's got, can you see the, sort of like the turquoise cues on there? And you look, it's sort of, it has a little bit of a fade going in terms of the color and the paint job. It sort of fades as you get closer to the bottom. So the back, actually the battery compartment, I believe, has like a skull and crossbones on it. I don't know if you could see if I get it at the right angle. So cool, and of course, by now you probably noticed that one trigger is gold, representing a pirate's golden tooth. I mean, that's really, really cool. Uh, of course, feels like a regular Xbox One controller, and this is the latest version of the Xbox One controller, of course, that has Bluetooth built in as opposed to just a proprietary wireless connection, which means, in addition to using this with your Xbox One, you can also use this with your Windows PC. The other thing I heard was that this little skull in the front actually glows in the dark. That's pretty cool. You know what? Why don't we go test that out? Okay, so let's bring this into the bathroom. I'm the only place I can go here. Hey, look at that. It really does glow in the dark. You know, I looked a little closer. It just might be uh, swords on the back. It's a little bit hard to see, but this is a laser etched controller as they do with a lot of their um, theme designs. And of course you have all the, all the buttons you have on a normal controller. But again, this just looks so cool. And I love that deep purple color mixed in with the turquoise and the golden tooth and the skull. Now, the one thing that's missing, and I'm not trying to be picky, but if you watched my video, uh, my 2018 Xbox wishlist video, I talked about the controller. I would love to see the rubberized grip become a standard thing on every Xbox controller and have it included on X Xbox Design Lab so you could sort of, you know, create your own, but with a matching, not just black, but with a matching colored uh, rubberized grip on the back. I just kind of miss it. It still gives me the heebie-jeebies when I play a little bit, but after a while that'll wear down, it'll be fine. And honestly, for something that looks this cool, I mean, the heebie-jeebies are a small price to pay. Now, I wasn't originally going to talk about this, but while I was at the Microsoft store, I also picked up one of these controller gear 
Xbox Pro charging stands, and they come in different colors, and they are made to sort of blend in with the shape of your controller, so it's sort of like a seamless integration. The controller sits right in it. You can't really see where the controller ends and the charger begins. You will with this, because it's a different color, but, and they work really, really well, and the battery charging in here works exceptionally well. These are a little more expensive than maybe a traditional, um, you know, Xbox One charger stand, and they only do one controller, because it's meant to hold one controller, but it really, really Really works well and it looks terrific if you're into displaying your Xbox One controllers. So here it actually has a little window that sort of shows you inside, but I'm going to take this out just so you can see it. I actually have another one of these that I use for one of my custom controllers that I designed. I told you I don't have a problem. So you'll see oh, it has a nice little weight to it and a rubberized bottom, which is really cool. So you'll see the controller is designed basically just to sit right on here and I got black because it was the one color that didn't clash with the colors of this controller. I think it comes in blue, green, deep red, white, black, and it comes obviously with another battery that you put in and a different back that you have to put on your controller in order for it to sit on the charger properly. So there you go. The Xbox One Sea of Thieves controller and the Xbox Pro charging stand. Uh, I'm excited to get these guys set up. I wanna start gaming with this even before Sea of Thieves comes out. Is that wrong? Should I wait to use this until Sea of Thieves actually comes out? Well, let us know with a comment below. Maybe you're a purist, I don't know. If you like the video, feel free to give us a thumbs up. And as I said, we love hearing from you with a comment below. Is there a controller that you love? Another thing that you want us to go hands on with? Just let us know. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell because subscribing helps us bring you all of these videos. And the notification bell, when you hit it, will let you know every time we launch a new video. So again, we hope you enjoyed watching this. I hope maybe there's some of you that'll say you're controller obsessed in the comments. Maybe just say it to make me feel better about me. And I'll see you on the next one.